growth. It's what we all were created to do. Look around at nature and you see that all the things that God created, He created to grow. Plants, animals, and humans all were created in such a way that growth is a pivotal factor in their existence. Trees, for example, start off as tiny seeds that get planted in soil and eventually grow up to be full mature trees that can live for hundreds of years, either producing fruit or the oxygen that we need to survive and breathe. However, in order to grow, trees must be planted in good soil. You can't plant a tree in rocky soil because it won't grow. And if it does, it'll grow to be mangled and deformed, not growing in the marvelous and amazing way that God created it to be. But if you plant a tree in good soil and you give it everything it needs to grow and blossom, it will, and it will grow into the beautiful representation of full growth and full potential that God created it to be. Now, I think most of us know that trees need to be planted in good soil in order to grow, but do we ever stop to think about where we are planting ourselves so that we can grow? What kind of soil are we planting ourselves in? Are, are we in a place of stagnation or are we growing and becoming the magnificent creation that God created us to be? In the Gospels, Jesus explains that he's the vine and that we're the branches and that apart from him, we cannot bear any fruit. So are you attached to the vine? Are you attached to Christ? You know, I think growth is this thing that we want overnight. We want overnight changes, but remember, just like a tree that's planted and starts as a seed, it takes years for that tree to grow into its full potential. And the same thing can be true for us in that growth is something that can take weeks and months and even years for us to grow and see changes. And so having patience and growth is so important. And no matter where you're at in your walk with God, it starts with planting a seed with Him. And it's choosing to plant a seed and choosing to put yourself in good soil. You know, it's about allowing God to have control in our lives. And if we do that, we can see our life blossom into the story of what God has created it to be. And in that, we'll see ourselves grow into the full potential and the glory that God desires for each of us.